Hi, I'm Joni Hilton, your YouTube mom. Today I'm going to show you how to impress kids. <laughs> These are some science magic cool demonstrations that I'm going to demonstrate for you that I've done on television as well. Twice a month I appear on a local TV station here in Sacramento doing all kinds of ideas like, you know, the YouTube mom stuff that I do. And this is one I just recently did that I want to show you. Look at this goop. This is such fun. It's not clay. Do you know what this is? See, look how it looks so liquidy, but yet it breaks apart. And then look, look how it just smooths, smoothes around. You can kind of pour it. it. It drips from one hand to the other, and yet it's a solid. It's such a cool thing. And all you need to make it is water and cornstarch. I mean, how simple is that? And of course, this has a little bit of food coloring in it. But all you do is take about a cup of cornstarch and mix in about a half a cup of water. And you stir it and stir it, and it's kind of a solid and a liquid at the same time. You can add food coloring if you want, but that's goop. Really easy and fun. Now this is another great thing. Take a tall, skinny, clear jar. It could be a jar from red peppers or olives or something. And put about half of it vegetable oil. And then pour water that you've tinted. In this case, it's tinted blue. Pour the rest of it full of water. And what you have is a wave machine. And kids love to do this. Isn't this fun? It's almost soothing to watch this. But it shows, of course, how water and uh, oil don't mix. And because of that, you can get a really cool wave machine. So easy, so fun. And now I'm going to make elephant toothpaste. If you've never seen this, you are going to love it. And you have to do it. You have to promise me you will do this. <laughs> The first thing you need, though, is kind of a dangerous product. So this is the one the grown-ups have to do. It's a hydrogen peroxide that's stronger than the kind you buy at the store in the brown bottle. Get about a 20%, and you can find it at a beauty supply. And I've already put half a cup of that into an empty soda bottle. Now, why is it sitting in a big roasting pan? Well, you're going to see as <laughs> it's going to foam over, and this is going to catch the mess. You'll need a funnel. And so I've already done this part. You know, I poured in my half cup of the hydrogen peroxide. Then you just want a couple of tablespoons of dishwashing liquid, just soap, you know, easy. If you want, you can put in some food coloring. I'll put a little bit of green. And now here's the part that's going to make it go crazy. Take a packet of yeast, which is about a tablespoon of yeast, and then you want to add three tablespoons of very warm water. I just heated this up in the microwave so it's nice and warm. I'm going to stir that into the yeast, make a little mixture here. doesn't take any time at all. And now, here we go, get ready. Don't back away from your screen, but you might want to. We're going to pour that in. I should have used the funnel, huh? But I didn't, but it doesn't matter because look what we've got. Look what's coming up out of the bottle. Here we go. We're splitting molecules here. And when this foams over, which you will see it do, let me stir it around. <laughs> it will, I promise. When it foams over, it's not dangerous anymore. Little kids can touch the foam. You're breaking up molecules, but what you'll notice, which is fun about this elephant toothpaste, is it's hot, well, warm. And that means it's exothermic. It creates heat. But see how it does, and if you have a big, big opening, then it's an even thicker big bunch of elephant toothpaste, and it will just keep on foaming and foaming. If you do it in a huge container, it might foam up enough to hit your ceiling. I can't promise, but we can only hope. <laughs> hey, this has been fun. I hope you enjoyed all these experiments, these little science demos. I'm the YouTube mom. you got to subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe. And if you would like, leave a question in the comment box and I might make you your very own video. See you next time.